Nutrition in Plants Nutrition in Plants All the living organisms require food. The organisms need to take food to obtain energy, to obtain material for growth and to obtain materials for the repairs of damaged parts of body. The process of taking food by an organism as well as the utilization of this food by the organism is called nutrition. Modes of Nutrition All the organisms can be divided into two main groups. 1. Autotrophs 2. Heterotrophs Autotroph Those organisms which can make food themselves from simple substances like carbon dioxide and water by the process of photosynthesis are called autotrophs and their mode of nutrition is called autotrophic. For example, green plants, heterotroph, those organisms which cannot make food themselves by the process of photosynthesis and take food from green plants or animals are called heterotrophs and their mode of nutrition is called heterotrophic. All the non-green plants and animals including human beings are heterotrophs. Photosynthesis The process by which green plants make their own food like glucose from carbon dioxide and water by using sunlight energy in the presence of chlorophyll is called photosynthesis. In this process, the plants take carbon dioxide gas needed for photosynthesis from the air through the tiny pores called stomata present on the surface of leaves. Each pore is surrounded by a pair of guard cells. The opening and closing of stomatal pores in the leaves is controlled by the guard cells. The carbon dioxide gas present in air enters the leaves of a plant through the stomatal pores present on their surface and the plants take water needed for photosynthesis from the soil. Soil always contains some water in it. Water present in the soil is absorbed by the roots of a plant and then transported to the leaves through the vessels which run like interconnected pipes throughout the roots, stem, branches and leaves. The tiny pipe-like vessels which transport water from the roots of a plant to its leaves are called xylem. Chlorophyll is a green substance which is present in the leaves of plants. In fact, it is in the presence of chlorophyll that plants absorb the energy from sunlight. During photosynthesis, the sunlight energy is absorbed by chlorophyll and is used to combine carbon dioxide and water in the green leaves to produce food like glucose. The chemical energy gets stored in the form of plant food. So when plants or animals utilize the food made by photosynthesis, they actually use the solar energy stored in it in the form of chemical energy. In this whole process, plant releases oxygen. Leaves of various colors. Most of the plants have green colored leaves. Some of the plants, however, have leaves of other colors such as red, violet, yellow, etc. The leaves having colors other than green also have chlorophyll in them. Photosynthesis by plant parts other than leaves. Photosynthesis takes place only in the leaves of plants. In some plants, however, Photosynthesis also takes place in other parts of plants such as green stem and green branches. The green stem and green branches can do photosynthesis because they contain chlorophyll. Those stems and branches which are green in color can do photosynthesis. Photosynthesis by algae Many times we have seen patches of slimy green layer floating on the surface of pond or lake or even in the stagnant parts of a river. Algae are a large group of simple plant-like organisms. Algae contain chlorophyll and produce 
food by photosynthesis just like plants algae however differ from plants because they do not have proper roots stems and leaves parasites a plant or animal which lies on or inside another organism called host and derives the food from it is called a parasite an example of a parasite plant is the cascata a cascata plant does not have chlorophyll we can see from the picture it is yellow in color therefore it cannot synthesize its own food it takes ready made food from the tree or plant on which it climbs saprophytes those non green plants which obtain their food or nutrition from dead and decaying organic matter are called saprophytes the fungi such as mushrooms bread mold and yeast are saprophytes the non green saprophytic plants such as fungi obtain their food as follows the saprophytic plants fungi secrete digestive juices on the dead and decaying organic matter and convert it into a solution they absorb the nutrients from this solution the mode of nutrition in which plants take in nutrients from dead and decaying organic matter is called saprophytic nutrition